I was denied water for six hours at a time, and uh, it was terrifying. It was very cold in there. They refused to give me blankets. I did not get given my phone call because all the phone numbers I have are in my telephone, and they refused to go into my evidence bag. And uh, I just, I was actually rattling the cages really loudly, screaming, I'm a human being. I've done nothing wrong. Why are you holding me like an animal? And all the court, court service staff were laughing. They were saying, ah, prison's not meant to be good. Stop complaining. It's meant to be a punishment. And I was like, am I not innocent until proven guilty? All that you guys think I did was not show my ID. And it's just ridiculous. And it's, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of the police in this city. And I'm ashamed of the G20 for spending this much money to control us like slaves. What's your, what's your name? Charlie Beach of the Love Police in London. Can you spell the whole thing out for me? Yeah, C-H-A-R-L-E-S, Charles. And then Beach is a V-E-I-T-C-H. So just to make it clear, you're here as a tourist, is that correct? Or? As an independent filmmaker. Uh, I'm here for, for personal reasons, to meet friends. But because I'm a filmmaker, I couldn't pass over the opportunity to make a documentary about it. It just so happened that I became part of the story. Is this your first time to camp? Yes. And, I mean, your reaction. Granted, you came here at sort of a crazy time, but... Uh, I'm sure you didn't expect to, to have this experience. No, I was in uh, Toronto for a total of 24 hours before Sergeant Reynolds uh, decided uh, with his mustache that I was a threat to the state and uh, treated me like an animal. Well, I'm sorry, you brought it back 